Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the Weather Extreme video for Independence Day, July 4, 2013. I'm James Spann. It's wet, going to stay wet. Uh, Not going to rain all day and all night, but it's going to be wet at times, and that rain's going to come down pretty heavily. We'll check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured around the network at the not-so-insane hour of 7 a.m. Yeah, slept in this morning. Uh, That's the trustful Skycam. It's raining. Tuscaloosa Skycam. It's raining. Coleman Skycam. Yeah, you know what's happening there. Uh, Synoptic setup is very uh, anomalous for early July and very favorable for rain here. Big trough axis west of the state, a very deep tropical moisture plume moving up in here from the south. Uh, That's the radar at 651 this morning. At that point, some of the heaviest rain was over Walker and Winston counties and more down to the south and uh, just going to be wet. Flash flood watch for the counties in green. Uh, The areas in Alabama basically along and east of I-65. Also much of Georgia and points north. Strong storms possible today, but severe weather not likely. The the air is going to be cool. We probably won't get out of the 70s, and that's going to keep the air pretty stable. Rain for the next five days. Big numbers. Uh, Bullseye about six and a half inches near Destin. 5.2 5.2 inches at Chattanooga. Most of Alabama, 1 to 3 inches, but some spots could see more. This is the short-term rain. This is valid through uh, Saturday afternoon, and it's got the uh, bigger totals on the eastern side of the state, but clearly everybody's going to get wet in coming days. But we tr- uh, check weather in the tropics. The circle guys have the gulf circled with a 10% chance, and uh, uh, there won't be a tropical storm down there, uh, but that... Uh, trough at the surface is clearly enhancing the rain potential for the gulf there's the uh, infrared satellite view this morning you see those big convective clusters coming up again more of them coming up toward the florida panhandle if you're beach bound obviously it's going to be pretty wet down there for a few days and there's the uh, visible satellite shot love those uh, as the sun is coming up you can see those big convective clusters in the gulf looks like little popcorn balls down there and uh, that's going to be coming right up into the Gulf of Mexico. So, And again, the rain won't be continuous. There'll be some breaks, and the sun might break out. They actually had a nice sunset down there last night, but uh, uh, rain is likely for the Gulf Coast for the next few days. Next week, uh, conditions more typical of summer with increased sunshine and fewer showers and storms. We'll check modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the OZ run, at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. There's a trough axis west of the state, strong upper high over the Atlantic, strong upper high over the southwest. And down below that, we're just in good old-fashioned wet weather. Uh, Let's look at the high-res NAM. This is at 4 o'clock today. Showers and storms over most of the state. And again, the model kind of hinting the most widespread rain could be on the eastern side. And uh, the GFS is printing a high of 78. And you you know we ought to be baking here on the 4th of July. Pretty remarkable. Now, this is 9 o'clock tonight. This is fireworks time. And again, it's not going to rain everywhere, uh, but it's going to rain in spots. So uh, fireworks shows it'll be kind of tricky tonight, and I wish I could tell you, you know, where it's going to be raining and where it's not. The the radar will not look like this, but this is just model output, but a pretty decent chance there will be rain tonight, but not everywhere. All right, this is tomorrow, 7 p.m., same deal, occasional showers and storms. Highs uh, probably around 80 tomorrow. Then they like today. Some spots could stay in the 70s all day. What about the weekend, you ask? Saturday, the moisture axis shifting a little westward. Uh, this is 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. It's suggesting maybe southeast Alabama has a chance to dry out, but still Saturday looks pretty wet with occasional showers and storms likely as we start the weekend. Low 80s for the high. And Sunday, we stay in the moisture, but the dynamic support begins to weaken. So uh, Sunday, the showers become a little more scattered. Still, it's going to rain at times on Sunday with a high in the middle 80s. Maybe a few peaks of sun, but probably not a lot. Here's Monday of next week. Uh, Again, uh, we'll kind of watch the upper highs to the east and west, but there's still a general weakness here. So, uh, you know, we'll mention a chance of showers and thunderstorms, but there's not as the, the dynamic support just not quite as great. 
And then Tuesday, they start to thin out a little bit. This is Wednesday of next week. That looks a little drier. And then a week from today, same deal. The upper high is still to the east and west and uh, down below that. That would be more typical of summer, a mix of sun and clouds, a few scattered showers and storms, mainly during the afternoon. And we should creep back up toward 90. But still, temperatures for the next seven days stay well below normal, generally speaking. We'll check the end of the forecast July 19th. Got a flat ridge here. Storm track north of us, and same deal. Moisture axis, few scattered showers and storms. No sign of any, any excessively hot weather for the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. We're on the holiday schedule, so the next video will be posted here tomorrow morning. You can catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great 4th of July, and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.